The Lord spoke to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses' assistant, saying, Be strong and courageous, for you shall put this people in possession of the land that I swore to their ancestors to give them. Only be strong and very courageous, being careful to act in accordance with all of the law that my servant Moses commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, so that you may be successful wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. You shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to act in accordance with all that is written in it. For then you shall make your way prosperous, and you shall be successful. I hereby command you, be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua chapter 1, verses 1 and 6 through 9. Okay, this is a Chevy Astro van, 1999 vintage. I'm going to uh, remove this fender. I purchased another one. <laughs> we'll see how much uh, trouble it is to put it on. So. so the first step is to remove these screws right here. comes out. Next we remove the lamps. Okay, next I'm taking out this screw here. Seven millimeter. And another one over here. And then there are screws one right here, two, and three across the top. And then I'll have to take that lower lamp out and the other two screws, and then this whole grill should come off. Okay, so I took those two screws out, one that goes here, and one that goes right there, and sure enough, this grill comes off, just like that. So next in the wheelhouse here, there's a support bar that comes down here to the fascia, and there's a nut on the bottom that will have to come out. Right here. So I've got a socket there, a 10 millimeter on that uh, bolt for the support bar. And is typically my luck that uh, bolt had twisted off. So now I got another problem. Okay, so there is a bolt right there that holds this fascia on, but on mine, it seems to be rusted loose, so uh, I'm not going to bother taking that out. This whole thing is kind of loose there. Seems like there's something holding it, but I'm going to try to take out some of these push pins. There's one, there's another, and so on across. I'm going to try to take those out and see if I can get this fender or uh, fascia away from the body enough to expose the fender bolts. Okay, maybe this is obvious, but these things, the center of them pulls up and then they just slide out. Looks like that. So on the bottom side of the fascia, there's some more push pins and there's one in the center and so we'll take those out and see if that's loose enough okay so you can see I'm pulling this fender down away if I pull it far enough down I can get to that 10 millimeter bolt that's holding the, the front side of the fender on so I'm gonna 
put the camera down and take that off. And actually what I found out is that fender is actually loose also. <laughs> so don't have to take that bolt out. Okay, so actually I took that last push pin or the third push pin over on the bottom out and it really freed up this fascia so now you can see that and of course it's all rotten away from what it was bolted to so not sure quite what we're going to do with that but uh, at least that's as far as we got to go there okay now i'm on the front part of the fender and there's one obvious bolt easy to get to so we'll take that one out Okay, so the next thing we have to do is take this trim piece off here, and these are T15 uh, screws that hold this on, and it looks like I'm going to have to probably take this antenna off as well, which should, there's two flats here, so we should be able to just take that and unscrew that. Okay, so up here at the top end of the fender, there's two bolts there. Because I had to I didn't take this thing all the way off and just enough to expose that bolt there where the where the hood is attached. So oh, we can raise this up. Right, there's the other side of that. So Looks like I'm gonna have to take both of those out, or all three of those out, and then there's this little trim piece at the base of the window. And it looks like it's held on by those two Phillips head screws there, so I'm gonna take those out next. Make sure there's nothing else in the way. Okay, that's the piece that I took off of there. And that exposed another fender bolt right there. So I will take that off. You can see where that one is. But first, I think I'm going to have to do something with this hood. I'm probably have to take the hood off. Uh, or stick something else in that hole <laughs> when I take that bolt out. Because that's what's holding the hood up. Okay, so what I decided to do to make this easier is I'm going to remove the hood by taking these two screws out here on this side and then on the other side as well and uh, I'm just going to remove the hood completely that will leave this smaller bracket to deal with so <laughs> okay so uh, it's a lot easier to deal with this bracket can just come off with the fender so I just need to take those two screws out. Uh, and that screw right there out. And then if we come and look over here. Okay, so that little screw right there is a seven millimeter. Right there. So let me take that one off. And there's a push pin right here. There's one more push pin down here. That comes like that. And that slides out enough, so yeah, looks like that's all there is that's holding it on the bottom there. So I will take those.
screws out and hopefully the fender will come off. Okay, so I took all those screws out and there we have it. Okay, just wanted to tie up this loose end. Uh, I This is the tie bar that goes to the fascia and I did very gingerly <laughs> take the upper bolt out that may be where you want to start rather than taking the lower one out uh, anyway hopefully that'll allow me to get that uh, get that bolt out of there so I can reuse the rod okay this is what I came up with for uh, holding down this corner of the fender so I put a piece of angle iron in here with the holes in it on both sides and so I just found some you know less rusted metal up here and drilled the, those three holes and I got the, was able to get the two from the front side and then I had to do this one from the back side but fortunately there was a big hole rusted out in the back so I could get through to it and uh, and then this is just a little piece of angle iron that goes from the bottom uh, up to this piece here Okay, so that's how my fender came out. You can see it's not perfectly color matched, but you know if you come around for a slightly different angle and you get a bunch of mud on there because I live on a dirt road, <laughs> it's uh, it's not too bad. So.